Welcome to the lecture series on real analysis. In the previous lectures, we have seen many examples of open sets, closed sets, and rela relations between open set and a closed set, a set and a complement. These things we have seen in the previous lectures. In this lecture, we are going to see few more results on open sets and closed sets. Let us explore that. Here, in the theorem, it is given that arbitrary union of open sets is open. In that statement, they are trying to say whatever may be the type of the collection that you are going to take. If you are going to consider this to be the collection of open sets, you don't need to bother whether this is the finite collection or countable collection or any infinite collection. You don't need to bother about that. You just make a union of all these sets or a particular few selected sets from this collection whatever may be that that union is going to be open as well and the same goes when your collection is closed your intersection is going to be closed okay this is what we are going to prove in this theorem and continuation to this theorem we will explore what is going to happen when we take the intersection of open sets and we make the union of closed sets that we will see in the upcoming lectures now let us start this proof okay it is given that the first thing in the first let us take the collection g alpha to be the collection of open sets okay and let us take some g to denote the union of the uh, union of these sets okay now we will have to prove what we have to prove this g is open in order to say some that is open what should we do we have to prove all the elements of this set are interior points of the set this is what we have to prove okay for which let me take an element in g then what happens if i take some element in g this means x belongs to this union now we will have to make use of the definition of the union of sets if it is present in this union this means x belongs to g alpha for some alpha because suppose if you consider this to be your metric space x and uh, this kind of you have some collection okay supposing you take some x here this x is present in at least one of this set suppose i take x here this is present in this set as well as in this set if i take x here this is present in one two three three sets okay it is not bother that whether it is present in more than one set or not it is present in at least one set that is our concept we are choosing one such alpha such that this x is a member of that set once we choose this kind of a set since g alpha is open there exists a neighborhood of x with some radius with radius r bigger than 0 such that what happens this n of x with radius r is contained in this g alpha okay if this neighborhood is contained in this g alpha then we can say this neighborhood is contained in the union of all such things because supposing this is our x we have some neighborhood of x which is contained in this set if this is contained in this set we can also say that this is contained in the union of these sets right this is contained in the union as well so that is what we are saying okay so for some element of g whatever may be the element of g that we take we are able to identify some neighborhood of x which is contained in this union therefore what this tells you x is an interior point of g if x is an interior point of g and 
x is some arbitrary point that we have chosen in G, this concludes your set is open. Okay. Now, using the same idea, actually, uh, in order to prove the second thing, that is arbitrary intersection of closed sets is closed, what we are going to do is that we will make use of the idea that we used to prove this part. Okay. Let us explore that too. Here, what we are going to take is that let f alpha be the collection of closed sets. Okay. Now, let us take f to be the intersection of this f alpha. Then we need to prove what? We need to prove this f is closed. Okay. In order to prove a set is closed, what shall we do? We can say that every limit point of this set is present in it. Or else we can say the complement of this set is open. Two ways are possible to prove this set is closed. Okay. Here, what would be the best option? Be, uh, the second one. Because we don't know about the point. We don't know what kind of point the set is going to have. Even in the previous case, that was so. But since all the sets are given to be open, okay, all the points are going to be interior points. So we are making a union there. But here we are making the intersection. So it would be better if we go with the other way. Using the previous result, we can prove this too. For which that is, uh, okay. We know that f is closed if and only if f complement is open. Okay, so using this, what we have this collection is a collection of open sets. So this is a collection of open sets, and using the First part, we can say this union of this collection is open. Okay. We also know that union of E alpha whole complement is intersection of F alpha complement. Sorry, intersection of E alpha complement. This is also we have seen in the previous lecture. Okay. Using this, we are going to prove this thing ok this is open this implies what union of f alpha complement the whole complement is closed right ok apply this to this instead of e alpha we have f alpha complement so union of uh, f alpha complement whole complement this can be written as intersection of f alpha complement the complement. Okay. When we take a complement to a complement of a set, we will get back a set. That is, this is going to be intersection of f alpha under alpha. This is what? This is f. And we have proved this set is closed and we are saying that this set is equal to this set. Which proves that f is closed. This is what we needed to prove. Right? So, in this lecture, what we have done is that we have proved arbitrary union of open sets is open and arbitrary intersection of closed sets is closed. Now, some of us may have a question in our mind that what happens to the intersection of open sets and union of closed sets. That is what we are going to see in the upcoming lecture. That will be split into two categories. That is, we will make a finite union, finite intersection and then we will speak about arbitrary union and arbitrary intersection. Thank you for watching this lecture. If you have any queries, you can post it in the comment section. That will be clarified within 24 hours of time. Thank you.